First, to the biggest cash grab we've seen as international criminal masterminds make a mockery of bank security. From offshore gangs hacking into databases and stealing your account details to fly-in fraudsters who can electronically pick your pocket without you ever knowing. Here's Brian Seymour with the latest scams and how you can protect yourself. I lost nearly six grand. Largely, these people are members of overseas crime groups, particularly from the uh, Eastern Bloc countries, Romania, Bulgaria, parts of Russia. The threat is greater now than ever because Australians are sitting ducks, blissfully unaware of the technological leaps scammers have made to rip us off like never before. Anyone can be a victim. They are tech-savvy, unscrupulous and over here. Foreign gangs looking for cashed-up Aussies to rip off. It's the easiest money they'll ever make. Last Sunday week, I got a ring from our fraud squad in Melbourne to say that my bank card had been skimmed. It had been cleaned out. 77-year-old Victorian Ron Hanna was left baffled and broke when his bank card was skimmed at a supermarket, then used in the United States and Mexico in 31 separate transactions to empty his account. The money was accessed in Walmart, Maxahaki, in the United States for the amount of $5,879. In Ron's case, it's thought the scanner at his supermarket was hacked into and the data stolen. There's a myriad of ways that people can lose money out of their bank account or have their credit card uh, compromised. New South Wales Fraud Squad Commander Cole Dyson says consumer demand for instant convenience has driven the introduction of RFID or radio frequency ID cards. Pay pass and, and similar um, RFID technology as it's called, uh, radio frequency technology, is very new technology to our jurisdiction. Um, we do know that it's possible uh, for an offender or a person to scan um, the card whilst it's uh, in the person's pocket or, or in a bag and obtain the account details. We do know that the offender would be restricted to a sale of $100 or whatever the upper limit of RFID technology is. Here's how easy it is. Just load up at your local store, approach the counter and ignore the sales attendant. All you need to do is wave your bank card in front of this little panel. Quick, easy, great, right? Wrong. The scanners started about $300 on the web. Once you get them in here, it's just hook it up to the computer and go. Yep, overseas gangs targeting RFID card users have these cheap scanners in their pocket. They just walk past you just a metre away and the scanner records your card's details just like the units in the stores where you shop. Then they hit the town with your money. They take your net bank details for that card straight off the screen. So you can't relate to anything that's happened in that period of time. Christine Molem's bank card was skimmed at a Target store and $1,000 stolen before she shut it down. Her son had $3,000 taken after his card was skimmed overseas at a Walmart store. I have heard about that, but you don't expect that to happen in a small town like Springwood. If they have the scanner, they only need to walk past you. Your card details are gone. Paul Schmidt runs his own company importing and selling these wallets. They're designed to stop scanners lifting the data off your bank cards. It's a metal filament that is encased completely through the leather. It acts as a shield and just blocks the signal getting out. And here is the newest threat. Millions of popular games downloaded to smartphones just for fun are in fact embedded with card readers. They rip off the details of all nearby bank cards and email the details to their masters anywhere in the world. You'll see it just sent out a secret email to another email address. Commander Dyson warns us to stay vigilant for the traditional skimming scams, especially to look for any signs that your usual ATM machine has somehow changed. With a new slot or more lumps and bumps, it indicate skimmers have been at work. It is a big problem. It's got to be sorted out somehow, otherwise we're going to have it all. It's going to be worse. The chief precaution they should be taking is changing the pin on their card at least once a month.